So now this is ready to glue it down, but before we do that, it, um, we can make the tag and I'm also going to attach an uh, envelope here. So we will do that first. So just take this away. I can show you maybe the tag first. from the paper and uh, this is going to go on top here and another rose here and this is from um, the tab die from uh, Tim Holtz but if you don't have it I will show you how you can make your own I've showed this in a previous video but I'm not sure if you have seen it also just make a new one you just get one and a half inch maybe and it's uh, best to score it in half like so and then you just take your scissor or if you have a corner punch like so cut it off a bit and uh, these leftover strips on the top from the paper are great to use. So this is maybe not long enough, but you glue this on the top and then you have yourself a tab. Like so. Hope you can see that. So but I will use this. So we are going to glue this down here first. Like so. Center it. I'm going to glue it down. If you want a measurement for this, I just take my leftover papers and make it. But this is uh, three and uh, five eight by six inch, and then you just may measure this one eighth of an inch larger. go inside here like so and um, I will leave this in when I glue it so it gets a bit of room in the back I also want this flower here and uh, I can take that on later we can create the envelope first I think so This envelope is made from um, the whole um, strip of the paper all the way up uh, 12 inch and I cut it at I'm start in the right end here. Eight inch and then scored uh, three eighth of an inch here and cut out three eighth of an inch here and I also measured down to one half inch here and drew a line use my ruler like so and um, one up 
uh, on the sides here, a half inch here. So we are going to cut that. And here you can use your um, cutting, uh, uh, what's called, tool. Um, yeah, I think you know what I'm meaning to cut this. For small things like this, I find it more easy to just snip it off. And again, we are going to use a marker here. Like so. And for the top here, I, uh, as you can see, I made a mark in the middle. And I scored it uh, the same height as I cut this off. And this is uh, four and a half inch. I cut this off. And I scored this next in four and a half inch and made a mark in the middle and um, drew a line on each side here and just cut it off. So we also want a hinge here, so I can use the TVEC envelope. So now I have to think what side it's going to go because I scored it or just folded it in the middle. So this will go on like so, I think. Yeah. And we'll glue that on. And not all the way to uh, the scoring line. Leave a bit of it. see myself by myself now. <laughs> it's hard to see on dark. I think this is good. To snip off some here. Like so. And now we can glue the hinges on here. Like so. in between the legs of my tripod so <laughs> it's a bit difficult here Got to take glue on the bottom here. Should have done that at the same time, but we can always use it, do it after. So, now I cut out an image here and I use. Uh, uh, two layers, both on the back and on, on the front with the multi mat. So this will work as a closer, like so. And as you see here, I cut a little bit too much here. <laughs> Should have rounded the corners. I didn't think about that, but we have to find something to put on that later. Flower or something. So need to see where it's going to go so we can close and open it easy. Maybe a bit more down here. There I think. Yeah. So we glue it on the top here. Too much glue. So I'm so 
flowers here. Maybe I can use some of them. So it's always great to have some extra cutouts if you need them. <laughs> Mistakes always can be fixed. Not always, but <laughs> most of the time. Like so. So no one now will notice. It's just more decorative. Like so. So now we are going to to the back here and I some stamps and so we take that on last and again we need our cutting mat Let's see if I can get it on here like so here is an image uh, that uh, I want to uh, create a window and uh, we are going to cut that out and uh, if you like to you can use your ruler and uh, cut it like so but uh, I like to do it freehand if I now can find my this one it's uh, for my oven uh, cooking oven um, to clean the plates and it's not sharp on the top here. I find it more <laughs> dangerous to use this but please please ple be careful. So I will now cut this out. I feel I have more control with this one than with the ruler. It slips for me. Like so. So now you can use your scoring board to score it here, but I just fold it like so. Again, I'm going to use my marker. also on the inside. And for these things I use leftover papers and I scored a little hinge here for about uh, three eighths of an inch. And we're going to glue this down here, just on here. You can also use your multi-mat here to glue it down with. Glue. Like so. So just 
take my scissor here and snip it off. We are going to fold this inside like so. So this will be the hinge and it opens like so and like so. And this we are going to put on the back on the envelope here. Um, yeah. Like so. Try to line it up. And here we are going to use some magnets. Try with the two magnets here and see if that is enough. Or maybe we have to use three of them. We'll see. I'm going to take one inside. And I'm running out of magnets now, so I order some new and I hope they will be here soon. the glue on the wrong side of that one mm. and I don't have any more of these maybe you have to use another one like so and it means I have to take glue on this side here and then I use glossy accent so just a tiny bit of as little as you can, so um, the magnet will uh, hold. Um, now the tricky part, put it inside here and get it to meet. You can do this first also, but um, it's not always you get glued on evil, so... find them um, forgot to do that uh, round punch and punch out to cover up this magnet inside here so I know it will stay there so yeah I think it's enough with the one I thought maybe we had to take one here as well but it will hold so we also need something to cover up behind here maybe um, or, or something or diary or lady I think that's too dizzy to this paper so I maybe will find the paper to cover up this later and I will show you so now we are ready to assemble this on the page Not page, but <laughs> the cover. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I also have some stamps on top here that I want to glue on. And um, this little stamp here is from the 8x8 paper. Now, we 
can glue this on here. So we have to see where we want it. I think I will take it all the way up to this. It's supposed to go like so. And I want it to meet there, I think. Yes. So we're going to glue this on the back here. But again, we're going to leave a bit of a room here. Slide it a bit in here. Like so, I think. it's completely dry. I have to see if it's okay. And it wasn't. <laughs> I have to take it up again. A bit nearer here. can take a postcard of these images inside the envelope. So now it's ready to be glued on here. Here you see, when you have this inside, you see where to take the glue. So, I can glue it on. If you like, you can put an um, 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 uh, off-white uh, paper here for some journaling or something. Or you can put in a notebook on the top here. So, but then you have to make a bigger room here with an envelope. So now we can glue down this rose. And I also made uh, this from the sticky sheet. And I also etch uh, them. I think I take some pop dots. Usually I use uh, black pop dots. And this here is uh, stick it it's called. It's uh, a reasonable price on this. It's not so costly. I will glue the rose down. And then I need my multi mats. And I like to use my hands to <laughs> do it. And when you use your multi mat, you're sure to get glue on all the small pieces that I fussy cut here. So, I'm 
hopefully I didn't glue the tag now. <laughs> that was almost. And then now we can take this. I will stop this video now, so and, uh, work with the uh, pages next uh, tutorial or next video. So I can just show you here so you can see it all what we created today. So this is the start of the album. So now it will close up like so and so. So thank you so much for wa watching and uh, I wish you all a great and uh, happy day. Bye bye.